What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we are talking about muzzle blast. So muzzle blast is a term that usually refers to the pressure or force from the gases that come out of the muzzle when you shoot a firearm. Some guns have muzzle devices that redirect that blast in different ways like flash hiders, muzzle brakes, etc. But most guns, especially the really powerful ones, will usually put off a pretty good muzzle blast. I've seen countless military videos of guys shooting big old rifles with the muzzle way too close to someone's head and they usually react by aggressive aggressively jerking away and backing up. I've never seen it cause an injury, but it certainly looks loud and painful. So today, I wanna to put this to the test and see if you were to end up too close to the business end of a firearm for whatever reason, accident, negligence, self-defense, etc. Could the muzzle blast actually cause an injury or do any serious damage? Especially with something like the 50 cal. And of course for this experiment we are going to use a ballistic dummy lab head. So I did a muzzle blast video probably a year and a half ago when I first got the 50 cal and I think it was before I was obsessed with the ballistic dummy stuff. So we were using like potato chips, <laughs> all kinds of really random stuff, but I wanted to do it with something much more realistic. So this should be good. And I have screwed the head into the table using a piece of wood so that it stays put and does not just fall over. And I actually thought about not screwing it down so we could see if any of these guns would knock it over, but I think this is more realistic because it's gonna take all that blast right to the face. And to be honest, I'm not expecting most of these guns to do very much damage. So we're just gonna rapid fire through them so we can hurry up and get to the 50 cal, which is the one that we all wanna see. All right, we're gonna start with the nine millimeter pistol. This is the Canik TP9 SFX. It has a ported slide, but not a ported barrel. And like I said, I'm not expecting most of these to do any damage from the muzzle blast, but I have always wanted to see what muzzle blast looks like in super slow-mo, so. Let's see what the nine millimeter does. I'm just gonna put it like right up on his nose and try not to shoot it off. <laughs> Little black mark, but that's about it. So there's a tiny little burn on the tip of his nose that I'll show you here in a second. But first, let's try the 45 ACP out of the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield. This is a much shorter barrel, so it might have a little bit more muzzle blast. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> it's just burning the crap out of his nose. <laughs> Okay, so on the slow-mo, you could see that the 45 ACP made that thing jiggle back and forth. <laughs> that was pretty funny, and I'm not sure if these marks on the ballistic dummy lab head are burns or just gunpowder residue that came out the end of the barrel. But you can see, if I raise the brightness up here for you guys, that on the bottom of the nose, there are some black marks. So again, not sure if it's burns or gunpowder residue, but either way, I would say pretty much no damage. All right guys, next up we have the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. This is the most powerful handgun that I have and the round we're gonna shoot is the 440 grain Underwood gas check. And as I'm sure most of you know, with revolvers, there's quite a bit of pressure that comes out of the cylinder as well, which is why they say never shoot a revolver with a thumbs forward grip because it could obviously hurt your hand. So before we test the muzzle blast, I wanna test it at the cylinder and see if that could do any real damage. It would be best if we had a ballistic dummy hand for this, but unfortunately we don't. So I'm gonna use a hot dog. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot the gun one-handed, unfortunately, and just put the hot dog right out there next to the cylinder and <laughs> see what it does. <laughs> and as you can see, it completely cut that thing right in half. So that would do some damage. All right, I'm trying to keep the sun off the camera lens, so I raised it up just a little bit, but the 500 Magnum launched that hot dog about 15 feet that way, so it's definitely packing a punch. Now I wanna try the same thing 
on our ballistic dummy head and see if it actually does any real damage. So using the same bullet, once again, out of the Smith & Wesson 500 Magnum. I'm probably gonna put this one above the nose so that it doesn't recoil and rip that thing completely off. <laughs> this would suck, by the way, if this ever happened in real life. Whew. And hopefully you can see that it actually tore the ballistics gel right underneath the eyeball. Pretty unrealistic that something like that would ever happen in real life and obviously these ballistic dummy heads do not have eyeballs, but if it did, you would probably lose an eye. All right, I'm gonna shoot one more and this time I'm gonna put the muzzle brake right underneath the nose. <laughs> Just trying our best to destroy this thing. Oh yeah, definitely charred the lip and it would not feel good, but I think the cylinder might have done a little more damage. The sun is really messing me up out here. I brightened it up so you guys can hopefully see, but obviously just from the lip, all the way up to the nose is completely burnt to a crisp. But no broken bones and it did not tear the ballistics gel. After watching the slow-mo, I don't know how it didn't just completely blow the nose right off the face because that was definitely intense. All right, let's go ahead and try the AR-15. The 5.56 is obviously a small little bullet, but it's also a pretty high pressure round, so it might do some damage. The compensator on this one directs most of the gas upwards, so we're gonna put that right underneath the nose. Oh yeah. That is definitely the most damage we've had so far. And to my surprise, the 5.56 did even more damage than the 500 Magnum. It completely blew that nose apart and we lost a pretty good chunk off of there. It also cut that top lip open pretty good. Again, the 5.56 is a high pressure little rifle round, but that's definitely more damage than I was expecting. Well, I brought out quite a few more guns, but I don't think any of them would do too much more damage than the AR-15 did. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip straight to the 50 cal. So this is the Barrett M99 50 BMG, and the muzzle brake on this thing is absolutely ridiculous. It puts off a ton of pressure and is probably the gnarliest and most effective muzzle brake I've ever used. The ammo we're using is just a regular mil spec 50 cal ball round and I also put a level three premier body armor plate right behind the head. I don't think it's gonna do that much damage to be honest with you, but just in case it does, I wanna protect myself from shrapnel and anything else that might be flying off of this head. So let's load the 50 cal and see how much damage one of the most powerful muzzle brakes in the world is capable of doing. All right, here we go. This thing has actually knocked cameras over before. So that's how much pressure is coming out of that muzzle brake. Let's see if it does any damage. <laughs> the body armor has ballistics gel on it, but luckily no shrapnel. And that is pretty freaking serious. I thought it would do damage, but I didn't expect it to do that much. I mean, it just completely opened up the whole front of this face. All around the mouth and the nose where that muzzle brake was pretty much touching is just completely blown apart. 
obviously really bad burns all over the teeth and the ballistics gel. Again, I wouldn't say it's realistic that something like this would ever happen. Hopefully not. I mean, most people are smart enough to know not to fire a gun right next to someone's head like that. But there are military videos of guys doing exactly that because they just get, you know, so focused on what they're doing and they don't realize someone is much closer to the muzzle than they thought. So it's possible, unlikely but still a very cool test and something that I wanted to do because I know the power of that 50 cal muzzle brake and it was perfectly demonstrated on our ballistic dummy head. Wow. And just to give you one more close up look at the damage, this dude definitely had a bad day. And now it looks even more like a zombie head than it did before because the whole front part of his face is just completely fallen off. So <laughs> that was pretty cool. But we all know there's only one rule when it comes to killing zombies. You gotta hit the brain. Well, I just took a bath in blue zombie blood and unfortunately so did all my very expensive camera gear. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up right here. Hope y'all enjoyed it. I would say a muzzle blast absolutely could be dangerous, especially when coming out of something as powerful as the 50 BMG. Again, highly unlikely to happen in real life unless you're hanging around some real winners that would be dumb enough to actually do something like that. But a cool test and something I have been curious about for quite a while. If you did like the video, let me know down in the comments below. And if you want more content, channel updates and stuff like that, of course you can follow me on Instagram as well. I will put links for all social media down in the description box below and I'll see you next time. Thanks.